Hi everyone, in this lesson I want to talk about uh, the relationship between zeros and factors. I'm going to do that with this example that asks us to match each of the graphs below with the score corresponding functions that follow. And the relationship that you want to see between the zeros and the factors is that if this has a zero of what one, two, three, four, then you would expect that x minus four, or something around that, would be a a factor. Okay, and and that's probably easier to look down here at the uh, at the factored polynomial. And if, uh, for example, number C here, you can see that uh, four minus x. That's going to have, a, if you set that that function equal to zero to find the zeros, x equals four would be one of the zeros. Likewise, uh, if you set this factor equal to zero, you get two x equals eleven, and uh, and then x would be eleven halves, which is five and a half. And so you can see that that would correspond. Letter C down here, this function would correspond to that graph. All right, let's uh, let's again let's look at the equation down here. I can see that just looking at this factored polynomial that x equals a half if I set each of these factors equal to 0, this factor equal to 0 would give me x equals a half. This would give me x equals negative a third. If I come up here, it looks like at x equals a half and negative a third, those are both zero. So I would I would think that uh, le uh number 3 here would correspond to letter A, because that has those zeros, and I could of course check these by graphing these on my calculator. If I move to letter B right here, uh, 2x plus 15, if I set that equal to zero, I'd get negative 15 halves, negative seven and a half. That looks like maybe this point up here. Uh, X minus seven, if I set that equal to zero, I'll get X equals seven, that looks like this point right up here. And so it looks like letter B would correspond to the second graph, and again I could I could graph those if I wanted my calculator and see that, just verify that it was true. The last one that I have here is uh, is letter D. Uh, it looks like if 5x plus 2 is equal to 0, again, if I set the function equal to 0, I'd end up setting each of these factors equal to 0. x equals negative 2 fifths, and x equals negative 7 fourths, and negative 2 fifths would be like right here, and negative 7 fourths, that's negative 1 and 3 fourths. And so this would be letter D corresponding to that. And so again, we just want to understand the relationship between the the factors and the the corresponding zeros uh, in the graph like that. Okay.